in unfair treatment news. Oh, damn. Talk about my life. I was gonna say that, but then I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Submitted by Sally No Arms. <laughs> a teacher was handcuffed and dragged from a school board meeting after questioning a superintendent's pay raise. Oh, oh yeah. What? Dragged? Oh. That's yeah. crazy. Well, how was he asking? Can't speak up at that school. How was he trying to speak up though? Was he trying to like be all aggressive and like... How dare this teacher fucking ask for a raise? The nerve. Okay. The superintendent. Yeah. Superintendent. Whatever. These guys should be paid like nothing, man. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with them? Yeah. So Give me 50 cents more. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pretty big story right now. Yeah. It's, it's causing a lot of comments. So this is what happened. Teachers uh, should be millionaires, by the way. For real. Because, yeah. uh, for you know, real, for they real. teach the fucking future. Yeah. If, uh, for all my past teachers, they, 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 they had to put in a lot of work for having me in the class, you know? They deserve way more. Dude, some teachers just snap, too. Yeah. Can't, can't take it anymore. I've seen suck. teachers snap. Yeah. I had, uh, there's this one kid named Antonio in my class, <laughs> and this teacher started, like, pinching him, slapping him, dragging him around. Like, she, he made him made her break and I was like oh, you're not she supposed to do this <laughs> she didn't get in trouble for no no I don't even think he complained yeah like the only person that should have complained he didn't even complain like he mooned her <laughs> he did all kinds of stuff wow yeah. that's funny like I was a bad kid and I and this is me already getting kicked out of two schools yeah but once I went to, uh, once I got into this class I think I actually didn't get in trouble at all that whole year yeah because I had someone to outshine me so the antics that I were up to, like sneaking my friend's cat into class, like it was nothing. So she just pinched him and like dragged him around in front of everyone? No one yeah. said shit? Dragging him, like there's times where like she got so pissed, pulled him by the ear, dragged him. So my elementary school was all connected, dragged him all the way to the principal's office. And all of us were just sitting there like, wait, did our teacher just leave the room? Oh wait, this is elementary school. Yeah. Oh, back then people weren't fucking so crazy. Okay. How old, oh, yeah, yeah. How old were you guys? Uh, fourth grade, so I was like nine. Yeah, oh, whatever. Okay, back and then, and then none of the kids spoke up, probably. They yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Back then, yeah. kids were, I mean, no one really cared about seeing yeah. that much, yeah. So this all takes place <laughs> at a board meeting. There are four main people involved. It's Daishia, the board president, the superintendent, and the officer. Now, Daishia Hargrave, she is a middle school English teacher in Southern Louisiana. She was formerly Teacher of the Year. Uh, she was arrested and booked into city jail overnight on For the charge on the and charges she's a former of former teacher of the year. Yeah, on the charges of resisting an officer, remaining after being forbidden. But she was later released on bond. This all happened because there was in during this board meeting they were talking about a superintendent getting a pay raise, and so he was getting he was getting a raise from one hundred and ten thousand dollars to one hundred and forty eight thousand. Wait, superintendents make that much money yeah. in the South? They make. Yeah, that, he's, that's he's a driving a Ferrari in, the, in yeah. Louisiana. That dude's driving a Ferrari. 148000 For a Fuck. superintendent? Superintendents make bank. What? Yeah. Yeah, and so... Well, that's kind of like being the school CEO or the district CEO. True. Yes, True. but people question it because they don't really know what they do because they approve like a curriculum yeah. and that curriculum applies for like the four, five, ten years. Yeah, yeah. So what is the superintendent doing now? Yeah. After that, you know? Exactly. So like, yeah. So it's very questionable for a lot of people. So he's saying that he had not received a raise since he took the job back in 2013. Well, he's a new one, that's why. He's already making 110 grand. Yeah, exactly. So, uh... Yeah. In Louisiana. This, yeah, what did he do to deserve it? Like, his performance was great, or like... So the, the board was saying that he helped reach these goals, but then that's when this teacher, she stood up and she was, like, against it. And I'm gonna show you guys the clip from the board meeting and you guys can see from oh, that. Oh, okay, so the superintendent was getting this raise, and then this teacher was against it because she didn't think he deserved that. She was pointing out the fact that teachers in the area, they, they haven't gotten a raise in the past 10 years. Like, why is he getting the raise when they're the ones meeting the numbers for him? Yeah. And this is current, so, like, so this happened in 2017 yeah. or something. This hap this just happened. So 2018. Yeah. Or uh, whatever, whatever. Well, it happened within the week or two here. Yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. So we're and, and there's just a huge discrepancy. Like, 
110 or 140 grand in Louisiana is like half a million dollars yeah. here. Well, yeah, and then I mean, what do the teachers get? Thirty thousand a year? Yeah, exactly. forty-seven to forty-eight thousand. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a that's too huge yeah. of a pay yeah. wage yeah. gap. Where them getting like three grand is a big deal for them. It like if they went from fifty yeah, to fifty-three. Just got a tiny little raise. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. why is this? So I'm gonna show you guys the whole video that just went viral. That's really. He's yeah, getting I want to know what college presidents, superintendents, oh, and administrators, oh, like chancellors, oh, like eight hundred. Yeah, I want to know what they do that yeah. get them so much money and are is it a 24 7 job no because like ceos and stuff i get it it's a 24 7 job it's like why would anyone want to do that job because you don't have a life you don't have a wife you don't you, you get divorced you're just fucking crazy right but do these jobs are they as demanding as like being a company ceo for apple yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. For universities, it's different. It is. It's the same thing. Like you have like the sports side of it. You have entire medical complexes yeah. in your campus. Like a lot of the universities, they have their own police department because it's literally its own city in a really compacted like square mile block type of thing. So it's like being a city mayor plus CEO plus poli yeah. politician, all this stuff. And in your city with its own like high level yeah. sports so it's like team. You are a president. Yeah. Okay. Because these guys, this is like a fucking junior high or something. Yeah, and, and, and it's like what? For what? Mm -hmm. yeah. I almost burped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just before I show you guys the video, I just do want to make a little side note here. The officer involved in this whole thing, he was previously sued for excessive force back in 2011. He was, <laughs> He's back on the job. He was accused of slamming a 62-year-old man's head into concrete. <gasps> the lawsuit ended up being settled in 2016. So this is just pretty much like the worst recipe ever. Yeah. Like the person that shouldn't have gotten a, a million dollar raise got that. The teacher of the year yeah. witnessed that and she barely got a raise. And then you have the most aggressive officer that I've ever lived <laughs> all in one room. Yep. That sucks. This fucking Jerry Springer right here then. Pretty much. God damn. Here we go. Why was there even an officer there in the first place? It was it after the board meeting? That's what I gathered. It's during. It's a, oh, the, yeah, why is there an officer there? Yeah, why would there be an officer there? A security person? Maybe things know. have already gotten a little <laughs> hot I, in the past. I have no idea why they have him there. Here we go. I have a serious issue with a superintendent or any person in a position of leadership getting any type of raise. I feel like it's a slap in the face to all the teachers, uh, cafeteria workers, and any other support staff we have. We work very hard with very little <coughs> to maintain the salaries that we have. I just want to say, I don't care if the performance targets were met. You're making our job even more difficult, and we're jumping through hoops, and we're continuously, we're meeting those goals. We're meeting those goals. While someone in that position of leadership is getting a raise, it's a sad, sad day to be a teacher in Vermilion Parish. And I feel like I'm speaking on behalf of more than just myself, more than just Kaplan teachers. I'm speaking as a group, many teachers are scared to speak out with Act 1 and all the power uh, Mr. Pio now has. And it's, again, I'm going to use the word absurd that we're even considering giving someone a raise when these teachers are working this hard and not getting a dime. Is it against policy yes, to I say, like say Sir, do not. Why is she getting dismissed? And they're dismissing her for standing up and talking. I mean, she was called on. It was comments for the superintendent. Damn. That's definitely a room full of teachers. He was speaking to directly. And he didn't respond to her. That's exactly right. But you run everything. Just put her in handcuffs, please. I apologize to the public. He did not. Why are you putting her in handcuffs right now? Why are you putting her in handcuffs right now? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Can you explain? Are you kidding me? Stop resisting. I am not. You just pushed me to the floor. Sir, hold on. I am way smaller than you. Oh, damn. What the that is excessive. Oh shit. That is fucking For talking excessive. Business. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So what? now you're gonna get sent to prison for speaking up about something. And calmly. Isn't that what a board meeting is for? Exactly. I've never been I've never been in a board meeting, but and if I thought that's what you're supposed to do is voice your opinions exactly. and voice your whatever you have that you want to talk about. So who's the little bitch that got so butthurt that said, security, can you please come remove her? Like, who? who's Probably that little bitch? I think it was the board president. No, the superintendent didn't say anything. So apparently there's two- He's just sitting there, there counting his cash. Yeah. 
It's like 148,000. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, they were. T well, maybe were, were they were they trying to tell her like, okay, let us answer, but she kept talking and talking. Maybe that part was edited out. Maybe, but even still, like, like a rest. She wasn't like in anyone's faces. Like she wasn't speaking That's so true. passionately yeah. enough where she's like she spitting. A, she had a fine line of of passionate. Because she got yeah. escorted out, but the arrest part was. Yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. one caught that on camera. Like the, you could hear the people in the meeting. They were saying like, yeah, he's putting her in handcuffs out. Like that just happened. That was nowhere. that was. Random. It looked like yeah, she so was leaving too, because he kind of went this way, and she just like walked her own way out. Yeah. I thought yeah, she was getting escorted out, and then he was gonna say bye bye, yeah. and then come back. The arrest part just makes no sense. Yeah, that yeah, guy so is just trigger happy as maybe, fuck. Maybe she's a powerlifter. She actually is really strong. Gave him one of these. So she was he was trying to like push her down. But she wouldn't go down. She just yeah. What we up. didn't see was a little nut check she gave him. <laughs> <laughs> She actually pulled out a gun out of her purse. No one saw it. Damn, this is nuts. Got a fucking stapler in there. Dude, I wonder if she can sue them for this. <laughs> oh yeah, she should. Yeah, yeah. So sue for exactly a hundred forty something thousand dollars a year. <laughs> So two board members, they have been claiming that the board treats women unfairly, that they've they've had a history of kicking women out for speaking their minds. I, I don't mind that part. That part Shut is up. Part. <laughs> That's not fair. It's when men speak up, they don't. <laughs> it's it's because women voices are just a little bit different. You know, it's a, it's, it's more, more shrill. it's more annoying. So hey, I can hey, see hey. Like, <laughs> it's just difficult to withstand hey. that kind of tone. You know. Hey, cut that out. No. Right, we need going. we need to be respected. All right, fine, keep going. All right, then speak in a deeper voice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Tiff. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they are saying that men who spoke out, spoken up in the past they have never been removed. Um, so now the ACLU is commenting on this. They're saying that Dashia's expulsion from a public meeting and subsequent arrests are unacceptable and raise serious constitutional concerns. The, constitu the Constitution prohibits the government from punishing or retaliating against people for expressing their views, and the fact that the school teacher was arrested at a public meeting of the school board is especially troubling. It's pretty bad. So, yeah. the board president says that the officer acted appropriately and he stands by him 100%. This is what the oh, board president said. Damn. Quote, if a teacher has the authority to send a student who is acting up and she can't control out of the classroom oh, to the principal's you. office, under our policy, we have the same rules. Yeah, his, to send them out, not to fucking arrest them and check them on the ground. Yeah. His, his job is to make sure we have an orderly meeting. He knows what the law is. He knows what our policy is. The officer did exactly what he's supposed to do. And the teachers aren't kids. Oh, go exactly. fuck yourself. Well, even if they do have the same right, that means you can say, ma'am, it's your time to leave, and that's what yeah. you can do. But then uh, the thing is, that's if she's acting unruly. That did not look unruly at all. If yeah. the kid's fucking going crazy, yeah, you send him to principal's office. But if the kid's- And not in handcuffs, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arrest yeah. is another yeah, level. So exactly. Now, Even though I hate to agree with you. Well, yeah, I mean, what <laughs> did they explain what the rules of conduct was in those type of meetings? Maybe it's more bo boring and chill and relaxed and no one's standing up and like, you know, emoting at that level. Speaking know, at a just, certain yeah. decibel. Well, I mean, if it's a meeting, it's kind of like a, like, what are this called? Town hall? Yeah, 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 that's what it looked like. HOA uh, shit and yeah, it's like you it have is. the right to speak up and like, <clears throat> maybe Joe is whatever they're talking no, about. No, because I mean, okay, so, so the thing is like, there's, there might be an agenda to talk about other things that day and they had a packed day full of things that they need to deal with and then she's basically taking that time to do whatever she wants to talk about, which is still disrespectful, even if what she's yeah, saying yeah. is right. I think your idea before was more likely, like, because there was an edit, like, what, maybe we missed something? Maybe she, because maybe her rant went on for 10 minutes and we only saw 30 yeah, yeah. seconds, and then she started saying, like, you a bitch, and you don't deserve that much. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like, all right, honey, you gotta go. Yeah, but the reaction of the people in the crowds was like, True. you know, like, we're arresting fighting. her. But that could be biased too, because she's fighting for them. It's like, you is a bitch! And then we all, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now uh, the, their threats, their death threats. Dang. Yeah, we talk about death threats. We, uh, the internet loves their death threats! Yeah. yeah, the whole school board is now receiving death threats. The, FBI, <laughs> the whole school board? <laughs> yeah, the FBI. The teachers and the uh, administrators? No, no, just no, the no, school no, board. The school okay. board, yeah. So then um, the offices were even on temporary lockdown. Dope. The threats were being <laughs> reported to officers and FBI. Um, the superintendent was silent during the meeting. Um, but then after knew. the fact. He fucking knew. 
He didn't deserve that shit. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Yeah. After the fact, he released a statement. Um, he's, he, this is what he said, quote, I hate what happened. 28 years of my life is dedicated to the students of this community. It's so hard to see this negative. It's tough. I'm the superintendent. I'm to blame. I should have stood up, okay? That's what you want to hear, and it's the truth. I should have stood up. Let her speak. Within the next few months, we're going to be bringing to the board a plan where we can bring a raise for the teachers. All right, I bring it back. You're not you know, fucked up, bro. Good job. Uh, yeah, just take whatever money you yeah. just got. Yeah. So his daughters, his daughters are getting shit online too. Like, just but we also don't know. We we also don't know how taxing and how difficult that job is. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's that's kind of like that's the thing true. where a lot of people say, "Oh, rich people are lazy. That's why they have so many servants." One hundred percent. But the right? the but gap is pretty extreme. Where his raise is yeah. her salary. It is. Yeah. But yeah. It, yeah. but but we that's also know that government jobs are underpaid. Sure. There's like 20 years of like the same rate yeah, yeah. and then it's like finally this person gets a job I mean gets the raise, but it's like oh fuck you you don't deserve that because it's just so big I might have misheard something, but did they say something something parish? Is it a private school? Because um, that turns things uh, not necessarily ex excuse for anything, but it does change the system of things. Yeah, I believe so Yeah, yeah it might be a private school which does uh, change something. Yeah, like the way people are paid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because then it is 100% up to the board. Like it has nothing to do with yeah. government, it has nothing to do with, like you said, like, oh man, I gotta hustle 10 years and then I'll get my big raise or whatever. Or even why the superintendent's there, I feel like you can po uh, be political and make your way to the top of either uh, private or not, but, uh, and private teachers often, even though the school can make money, they're self-funding, so the teachers aren't even getting paid less, uh, which in my opinion, in the private, it's more fucked up that this guy gets paid higher. Yeah. We already know our government's fucked up. Like, like you said, you already know it's fucked up, but in the private system, the whole idea to go there is so you can create your own yeah. form of what you want to see better. I think what would help just is transparency all around. Like, let people understand the job description, what they do, yeah, and then it'll just clear it up. Like, yeah, dude, you you deserve it. It's your middle management, your job sucks. It's hard. Yeah, it sounded like that teacher knew though, because she's like, we're hitting your quotas. Yeah, yeah. Like, and she could have just been an egotistical too. Like, she seems like a nice lady. She could have been wacko as well. But it seems like, you know, maybe their thing is like, oh, we got to get a B average at this school, and then she's right. Like, it's yeah. the teachers getting the B average, not you sitting in your office. That's yeah. true. So after this whole thing went viral, the teacher has released a video of her response. Uh, to the arrest, and this is what she said. Uh, I'm hoping that you choose to speak out after seeing what happened to me and you don't let it become an intimidation to you. You let it be your strength because it's slowly becoming mine. So she's just trying to, see, she's hoping that people who see this, um, they won't be intimidated by speaking out. So yeah, we'll see where that goes. I hope she sues the shit out of them and gets a fuck ton of money. And then she can buy all the color crayons she wants. She buys the school. She buys the school. Yeah. <laughs>